Welcome back everybody. I'm in the woods doing a little camping today and we're gonna put together a really simple recipe. All you need is two pots and a sense of adventure and this is coconut curry walleye. So first things first for this one, we are going to get some jasmine rice cooking. You can cook really any rice, but rice needs to go in right now to start this whole thing off. All right, so as my rice cooks, I'm going to get my other pot warmed up and I'm just going to chop up an onion, some garlic, ginger, and a little bit of lemongrass. All right, so my pot's looking nice and warm. I'm just getting some oil in there so I can start to saute my onions and lemongrass at the same time. So I'm just gonna get those a little cooked down so the onions start to look soft. And then once that's done, we'll toss in the ginger and garlic really quick. And then as soon as those get a little bit of heat on them, we're going to the coconut. All right, my onions, garlic, and lemongrass, they're smelling beautiful. Everything's starting to look nice and translucent. Now I'm going to add in a couple of cans of coconut milk. You can just add this right in there. And I'll also go in with some green curry paste. So this is already pre-mixed. It's seasoned up a little bit, has amazing taste to it. You can add this in there, or you can just add some green curry powder with a little salt and pepper and it'll taste delicious as well. So now we've got the coconut milk and the green curry paste in. I've turned up the heat on the pot just to make sure that everything's bubbling and reducing really nice. I wanna make sure that this coconut milk starts to thicken up a little. And once it's thick enough to float a piece of walleye meat on top, we'll add that on top, put the lid on, let that all cook together and it'll be ready really quickly. The other trick that I like to do is add a little squeeze of lime juice just to add a bit of citrus. So I'll go ahead and cut this up and squeeze some in right now. All right, so our coconut milk is looking just perfect. It's reduced, it's nice and thick. I'm sort of looking for almost like a pancake batter consistency. You want that definitely to be able to coat the spoon. And now that it's all thick, we'll be able to float these walleye fillets right on top. And I've just hit them with a little bit of salt and pepper and we'll just let them sit on top for a couple minutes. Just make sure that when you put the walleye fillets in, turn the heat down so it's just a really slow bubble. Put a lid on top and cover it up. My walleye is cooked all the way through. It's looking and smelling just fantastic. And now, all we have to do is plate this up. So we'll put a little bit of rice down. Nothing fancy here, just lay some rice down on a plate. We'll put the walleye and some of that beautiful coconut sauce on top and hit it with a little cilantro. And that will be ready to eat. Put that walleye on top of that rice. Get my spoon and start to just coat everything. Get some of that onion in there. Just make sure that you don't get the lemongrass in your dish because that won't be a real nice bite. So I like to enjoy this with a little squeeze of lime on top. It's really nice to have that citrus hit in every bite. So I'll squeeze some all over the whole top surface here and dig right in. The walleye's just cooked perfectly. Get a little bit of meat, get some sauce, get some rice. This makes me super happy. It's so creamy and that coconut just gets so rich. All the flavors are just through every single bit of that bite. Man, I'm gonna finish eating this whole thing. And if you want a little more information on this recipe, go ahead and check out that blog post link below.